When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet uh, I want to talk to you um, first about Thinking Out Loud. It's a beautiful ballad, you know, from your, your latest album. And to me, I hear a lot of Van Morrison in it. Are, are yeah. you... Did that you was, listen to Van Morrison growing up? Yeah, of course. That was uh, one of the first artists that I was exposed to. But uh, with that song, that's exactly what I wanted to capture yeah. was was that. Because I feel like the, everyone channels J Jackson, everyone channels Prince, everyone channels the Beatles. And I, I, there's not really anyone in popular culture now that has done that and gone and channeled a bit of Van. So I thought I'd uh, beat someone to it. Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. right. And, and, he, and he was just, I mean, he was such... A wonderful soul singer. Lisa. Yeah, I th I'd say it, 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 in terms of voices, um, like he's definitely one of the most unique standout. Well, like you definitely know as Van Morrison when it comes on the radio. Right. Like it's there's no one else that sounds like him. I heard structurally in the song kind of a band type composition. Mm. Do you think about that when you're when you're writing about the the composition? Yeah. Well, I mean, it 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 started off with the guitar riff. It started off with the chords, and then just from actually it was because uh, sometimes when I when I when I write something like that, I'll write the melody with the guitar. So it started off by just going, which is kind of very sounds very van like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And uh, and just from there, I just thought I'd um, uh, be a bit more obvious with it. When your legs don't work like they used to before, and I can't sweep you off of your feet. Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? And will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? And darling, I will be loving you till we're 17. Baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23. I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways And maybe just the touch of a hand Or me, I fall in love with you every single day And I just wanna tell you I am Honey, now Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Place your head on my beating heart I'm thinking out loud That maybe we found love right where we are When my head's all but gone and my memory fades And the crowds won't remember my name when my hands don't play the strings the same way mm -hmm. I know you will still love me the same Cause honey your soul could never grow Oh it's evergreen Baby your smile's forever in my mind and memory I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways And maybe it's all part of the plan Well, I'll continue making the same mistakes Hoping that you'll understand The baby now Ooh, Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Place your head on my beating heart I'm thinking out loud That maybe we found love right where we are Ooh. La 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 Mm 
baby now Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars So darling, place your head on my feet and heart I'm thinking out At 16, you left home, and you went traveling, mm -hmm. and you took your guitar with you. Did you take that Dean with you? No, it was the uh, Little Martin. So I st I'd used the Dean until I started using a backpacker, um, uh -huh. the uh, one kind of in the shape of a teardrop. So I used the backpacker for from the age of like 14 to 16, and then uh, I got a Little Martin, the kind of one that looks like a small guitar, not a teardrop. Uh, so that it, it was that, it was that, and my whole, life was stuffed in that case so you know it's the like black zip up case right. so I'd stick all the toiletries in the front and then all the clothes would kind of fit around the guitar um, and that was that was my traveling kit and you just traveled around busking on the streets mm -hmm. and taking the train I guess where all did you go all around England yeah all around England so not outside not, not no I went to Canada once I went to Canada once to do a um, to do a charity thing there um, and I went to LA once to just gig, yeah. But mainly England, mainly England. And you, it was just you mm -hmm. and your little Martin. Yeah. And, and um, did, did, was that kind of a nightmare? Like, were you scared the guitar would get broken? Or are there any nightmare stories that you remember from that? Mm. I mean, there are lots of nightmare stories, but more about people not turning up and me missing trains and being stuck at the train station all night. Um, but no, it's a really durable guitar that uh -huh. that little minds and like yeah I had it I had it just that was I traveled with it every single day on trains on planes on cars it was squished under stuff like yeah and it didn't break until I started my first big UK tour and I just started hitting it a bit too hard because I felt like it was a big venue and I needed to um uh the percussive stuff yeah so um so I go through a little Martin probably once every six months now oh, wow. yeah wow. But this one broke as well. It did. Yeah, I took this to um, took this to Afghanistan to play uh, to play for the troops, and uh, the same thing. I just got a bit too excited and hit it too hard, and it cracked all down the side there. But we have a dude that glues it, so it's, it's cool. Let's let's talk about that guitar. Um, yeah. Did you did you know what you wanted and, and told Martin this is what I want? Yeah, it was um, it was uh, I did a I did a uh, signature guitar with Martin. Uh, for the East Anglian Children's Hospice, where I'm from, uh, which is a which is a really really good uh, charity and hospice, and it does like good work. And they uh, they said, oh, but like you've got your signature guitar, but we'd like to just to make you a one-off. You can choose the words, you can choose the style, you can choose anything you want. So I, I just kind of went a bit nuts, uh, and they sent me four guitars to see if I liked the uh, sound of them uh, or um, shape of them. And uh, there was this double O guitar. Um, and yeah, the, the inlay is the inlay's pretty badass as well. Is that a two guitar? It's a, uh, it's a lizard. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. And it's um, Mother of Pearl, I think. And yeah. that's your album title there. Yeah. On the corner there. Yeah, it's a good old, good old instrument. I really like it. You're known for fusing acoustic folk and soul with hip hop beats and other kind of more modern techniques. Do you know immediately when a song is going to be like a straight singer songwriter type ballad and when it's going to be the kind of song that you want to put beats to? Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. And I, I feel like when you know what direction it's going, going in, you shouldn't like try and. I've been in a position before where I've been writing a straight out and out ballad and I've been like, oh no, no, this should have beats. We should make this a bit more kind of like. Uh, modern and cool, um, but yeah, I, I don't think you should fight it. I think I think if you're going in that direction, go that way. And if you if you're going to do a minimal beat thing, then go and do that as well. Right, right, right. And you've always done that. I mean, you've. you've uh, I was listening to some of your really really early home recordings last night, and <laughs> no, they were good. Um, but and you've always done that fusion. It, it's not like something that just came, you know, with meeting Pharrell or you know whatever. You yeah. Know. Well, it's been. I'd say. I'd say the first time I did a non-acoustic singer-songwriter song was when I was around 15, 
and then from there I just I I have I I'll, I'll admit I didn't do it as much as it as I do now like I probably do one out of twenty um, whereas now it's probably a bit more balanced but yeah I'd say uh, I'd say I just need to get comfortable with it I I don't think you can master something um, if you, if you're not um, educated enough in it like I, I liked hip hop music but I didn't really know about the craft of making it right right so when when you're you know, when you're recording and when you're when you're writing and you're performing, what's the true nature of your soul? I mean, is it is it more the acoustic singer songwriter stuff? Is it more the beat stuff, or or can you even answer a question like that? Mm. It really depends. Really depends. At gigs like this, we're playing. I think I think there's about thirteen thousand kids coming tonight, and at gigs like this, the ones with the beats and the big thumping, whatever. That's where my soul is here, but um, I played a gig in Dublin the other day and just turned up at a pub and did a set in a pub without amplification and the Beats ones just wouldn't work in there. So it, it depends what scenario you're in. Um, to be honest, I do prefer this, the kind of excitement of it, but I think in 10, 15 years' time I'll relish the acoustic ones. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet 